Lino Rulli is someone who I can say for sure I did not meet 10 years ago while I was preparing for World Youth Day 2002. In fact, I only just met him this summer in Rio, uh, uh, 2013. Um, but I've known about him for a long time. Uh, hopefully he also knew who I was. Lino has a long history in Catholic broadcasting. He's uh, as a producer and host of the Emmy Award winning show Generation Cross. In fact, that's how I first heard about him. And now as the Catholic guy on the Catholic Channel on Sirius XM. Now Lino's dream of being published came true last year with his first book, Sinner. And now he has the sequel, Saint. And to tell us all about this, I'm now joined by the Catholic guy, Lino Rulli. Deacon Pedro, I only heard about you yesterday, quite frankly. I was just going to say, this PR is so sad. Told me that I'd be here. This is so sad. And they said, oh, no, no, do you remember that kind of creepy guy that, that guy you met in Rio, in Rio over the summer? That guy, that guy. And I said, oh, they said, yeah, they said, yeah, you're going to be on his radio show. I said, oh, for the love of God. Then now, the radio show that competes, against, no, it doesn't compete against, it's on a different playing field than your radio show, but on the same channel. Right. And it's not, it, to say it's a different playing field, it's pr practically a different sport. But you know what? It's practically a different Let sport. Let me ask you something here. What do you mean this has been my dream to be published? Isn't it? Didn't, didn't you say that, that in Saint, in Sinner? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. You're my like, dream I always was wanted to be, to be... No, no, no. No? My dream was for the advance. I never wanted to be published <laughs> for the at advance. all. Yeah. You just want the advance and then you went to Panama with the advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I found out you're from Panama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's kind of interesting. You speak English all right, though. I do, and Spanish. Oh, really? It's very well Spanish. Right, congratulations. So, why did you write these books? Advance. Why did you write the second book? <laughs> Bigger advance. Why did the publisher <laughs> ask you to write the second book? Because the first one sold well enough to really? be the second Really? It advance. did? So, so yeah? Well, I don't, I, you know, I'll be honest. I'm just, I mean, I'm trying to be jokey here. I know, but I know. I don't know why they asked me to write a second book. I, I'm presuming that the first one didn't completely But you didn't bomb. think about, I'm going to write Sinner, and then you thought, oh, what a great idea. Let's follow up with, Sin it's not really a sequel. It's, it's not because sequels usually are bad. So let's, let's get that right out of this everybody's... This is a great book. Let's get that out of everybody's minds. I wish I was smart enough to have... Right now it To have thought about it from the beginning. Right. When, when somebody was nice enough a couple of years ago to say, we'd like to pay you to write a book, I said, well, let's take that money before the medication wears off on those <laughs> folks. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just said, and anything they said, just write about your life. And I told stories basically about me being a sinner. Yes. Because I always felt like people in church, people in religious groups always seem to be holier than me, always seem to be better than me. And I was wondering, are they like me in any way? Do they screw up? Do they make mistakes? Mm -hmm. And what was the advance again? So that was the motivation for the first well, book. clearly it was big enough. We're speaking of my or, nose, I assume. Yes. <laughs> and then in Saint, oh, when they were nice enough to ask me again, would you write a second book? I said, sure, I got a great idea. Oh, so you had already had the idea. No, I lied to them. And uh, I got the advance. Yeah. And then I said, well, now, now is the time, Lino. You have to come up with an idea. So they give you the advance without even knowing what the idea for the second book was? Well, yeah. That's trust. Well, That's otherwise good. I'd have to Who work first. Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody go to Servant Box. Up. They're just throwing money away. <laughs> I, I gave them an idea of what I wanted to write. But the, the, the thing, I don't know if anybody else feels this way about the relationship with God, but this is the way I feel. Oftentimes, things kind of happen, and they kind of come out of the blue, and that's how you know it's not necessarily a miracle, but it's from God. You're married, right? Uh -huh, yes. I don't know if one day you realized this was the woman for you. One day you realized you were going to get married. Mm -hmm. And it necessarily didn't even come from you. Perhaps it did. Mm -hmm. But perhaps you felt like it was a blessing or a grace from God. Yes. Well, I'm married to my work. So this, the idea for my next book, when Saint was to be written, I realized, you know, the fact of the matter is I am a sinner. And yet I'm still in this Catholic Church, and the Catholic Church calls all in the Church to holiness. There's yeah. a universal call to holiness, calls us all to sainthood. So I said, well, let's put these two together, and then we have sinner and we have saint. Perfect. And because I'm wildly insecure, it's called saint, why I should be canonized right away. Yeah, I, I want this to happen now. I don't want it to yes. happen after I'm dead, because I don't know how to benefit from that. Every sinner has a future. Every saint has a past. Right. It's and every sinner quote, yeah. has an advance and every saint has an advance. <laughs> so, who is this book for? You. I wrote it for you, Deacon For Pedro. me? Did you dedicate it? <laughs> That's right. The dedication. That's right. I wrote it for you. You dedicated it and it's like you wrote, we write the same thing to everybody. Can you write something that's No, no, no. I, didn't de I dedicated the book to my mom. The book is dedicated to my mom. You mean I autographed it personally to you. And yeah, you feel but can like you I... write something more personal? 
like how I changed your life, how how everything you you know you learned from me. Okay, okay we'll do that after we're done the interview, so that we're not eating into my precious ten minutes. Oh, okay. Your well, precious ten minutes. I'm here as long as you want. <laughs> Where I gotta go? So. I'm in Canada. It's for me, so people like me, anybody can read it. I'm Canadian in Canada. dollars. I, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trapped in this country. So 10 minutes, it might be 10 years that I'm on these. It's so. metric, 10 minutes. <laughs> right, I don't know how you guys work that all out. Um, so this is a book for the average person. They don't have to be Catholic to read it. Oh, no, no, they, they have to be Catholic. They have no, to if you go to Amazon.com uh, or .ca, as they call it here in Canada, yeah. or if you go to a bookstore, uh, they actually make sure that you're Catholic. You have to recite the creed. You have to bring your you Catholic to, ID. Yeah, the, the creed, the new form, not the old form. Is it in the, is it in the Catholic section? Is it's it like in the, where, it's in what section? Self-help. In, at self-help? That's right. How to be a saint. It's in African American Lee. studies. <laughs> what do you think it's in? I don't know. It's a religious book. Of course it's in religion. I don't know. It might be in comedy. Like it might be in, oh, in, God in, bless, in, yeah. in, in biography. Oh, I wish it'd be in comedy. Funny <laughs> radio hosts I biographies. I wish it was in comedy. No. It, yes, it's in the religious section. It's in the religious section. Yes. So is it a religious book? New Age. <laughs> Would you say age. that it's in a religious book? Of course it's a religious book. I'm, I'm just trying to man. make sure you get more people buying the book. So we've got to hit the people who want a religious book, but we've got to hit the people who also want to just read a book about a regular guy. If that, you want to read a book that's going to make you laugh and make you cry... I don't know what book that would be, but... <laughs> this one... This is a uh, great alternative. This is, this is... You know what, Sinner... I, can I just say, all kidding aside, please. I, I was skeptical, and I read it, and A, it made me know you better, which was great, um, and it was very funny, and I related to a lot of it, and a lot of it was very meaningful. Thank you. For me, as a, as a Catholic, it, it, striving to, as, towards holiness. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Well, uh, th this is what I would, first of all, it's very nice of you to say. So but, I do but I'm not saying that. it just to be nice. No, I mean no, it. If no, I didn't I mean it, I wouldn't say it. No, no, I, I agree. tell it to your Precious face. 10 minutes wouldn't be wasted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but what I would hope you get out of this book, Saint, honestly, is that you're going to try to see yourself in a light that you've never really seen. And what I mean by that is that you actually are called to sainthood. That you, Deacon yes. Pedro, are actually yeah. called to heaven. You're, you're yeah. called to holiness. You're called to be a role model in the faith. You're called to these things. That's crazy. And when you hear stories about me uh, doing drugs, you think, well, no, well, no, no, a guy who's done mushrooms probably can't be a canonized saint. Right. Okay, well, now, does that mean, I, do I have to take myself out of the running because of mistakes in my past? No. Then I really can, I can still be a saint. Yeah, absolutely. When I talk about the, the first time I kissed a girl, the ripe old age of 15. Sad. Uh, when was it? How was old that were, the last time also? Deacon Pedro, yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> you know, good now. How, how old were you the first time you kissed a girl? Oh, I don't know. Come on. Probably, probably 15. 15, okay. Yeah, probably the same. We both? 14. Well, oh, you had to beat me by a year, sure. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the, okay, the, you talk about uh, me making out. It was my mother. <laughs> oh. Well, that's gross. The first time you made out with Kiss, a girl? No, made oh, out. Oh, oh you what are you out. talking about? Kissing the... Yes, oh, get out of here. 14. So my whole point is, guys and girls who make stupid mistakes in their life, silly things in our past that also are in our present, and perhaps we're going to make stupid decisions in the future, am I still called to, uh, to holiness? Yeah. Am I still called yeah. to be a good Catholic? Yeah. The answer is yes, yes. but it's going to blow apart what you think about what a saint is. Uh -huh. If you think a saint is only somebody who lived in the uh, 700s, in the, yeah, middle in the Middle Ages, if they only live in uh, monasteries or convents. Yeah, and they if, were all like this. Yeah. Yes, porcelain yeah. statues. Yes. If only popes get to be canonized. If that's the story of the Catholic Church, then we might as well all quit going to church because none of us are ever going to be going yes. to heaven, right? But that is not the story. We know that. Yes. And if it's not the story, then each one of us is called to be a saint and each one of us has to look how seriously we think of holiness and do we see holiness in ourselves or in one another, and when we fall short, what do you do about that? Absolutely good. So all that is in this book, all the answers to all the questions. And I was in the about circus. holiness. And I was in the circus. Yeah, don't give it away. I mean, why don't I just give away? I didn't give away Oh, anything. sorry, that's just enough to, to, to entice them, the tease. If you want to learn about Lino being in the circus, buy the book. It's called Saint. It's published by Servant Books. You can get more information probably at the Servant Books web website, but also at Go to Catholic, catholicguide.com. 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 Catholic sure. Look Lino up on Facebook and Twitter at Lino Rulli. And uh, listen to your radio program. Sure, why Every not? evening, 5 to 7 p.m. on the Catholic Channel, Sirius XM 129. Um, thanks a lot. Thank you, Deacon Pedro.